Welcome to Let's Talk Meshing's Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. In this video, we'll describe how to create a structured domain with a pole, or basically a singularity, at its center. So to do that, the first thing I need to do is I need to create the actual pole connector. So I can do that by going to Create, Draw Curve, Pole. I'm going to create it at the origin, 0, 0, 0, which is the center of this circle. You notice that I've just created a pole connector. Now that connector has a dimension, a fixed number of grid points, just like any other connector, but they're all located at the same point. It's a singularity. That pole has to have the same number of points as this outer connector, the circular connector, and that has 41 points. So I'm going to grab the pole and I'm going to give it 41 points. The next thing I need to do is I need to create a branch connector to essentially create a structured topology, a rectangular topology. So to do that, I'm going to create a two-point connector from the pole to the boundary, and I'm just going to give that connector 11 points. Now if I select all the connectors and go to Assemble Domains up here in the toolbar, you'll notice no domains were created when I click the button. And that's because there's only three connectors here. Okay, one connector has to be used twice to create this domain. So to do that, I'm going to go to Create, Assemble Special, Domain. And you'll notice I have a structured meshing template up here, if you will. There are four edges to a structured domain, and opposing edges have to have the same number of points. So this acts as a guide as you're creating your structured domain. So I'm going to select the pole first. That'll be my first edge with 41 points. Go Next. I'm going to select the branch connector next, then the circular connector. And you'll notice now that these edges, these opposing edges, have the same number of points. And now I need to select one more edge, and it has to have 11 points to be matched up with its opposing edge. And that's basically selecting the branch connector one more time. So clicking that, I now have a structured domain with a pole or a singularity. And if I zoom in, you'll notice that these are actually quads with a degenerate edge. So if this were going out to a structured solver, that's how they would be treated. Now, not all structured solvers support poles, so if you're using a structured solver that doesn't support a pole, you would have to remove the pole from this structured domain. If it were going out unstructured, those would basically be treated as triangles. So I hope this helps when you want to create a structured domain with a pole in it. Thank you, and have a pleasant Tuesday.